Good evening and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I am going to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. And I wanted to let you guys know first off that I just got a brand new computer or a laptop with a built-in camera. So uh, as you guys can see, it looks a lot different from the headshot. But allow me to introduce myself. Um, what I like to do with my blogs is mostly share with the world uh, about what it is like to uh, live with an autism spectrum disorder or Asperger's syndrome or pervasive developmental delay, none otherwise specified, or um, I don't know what else you call it, but uh, that's mainly what I like to do. Uh, other times I like to uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism and the media. Like uh, I had recently saw on Facebook today that uh, Sesame Street decided to create a brand new Muppet uh, who um, has an autism spectrum disorder and she is a female. And so I would really like to do a little more research on that and then give some feedback to you guys. And other times I like to give to Sorry, I'm stuttering, but I like to give tips to individuals on the spectrum, like myself, and to um, parents and other family members, such as guardians and grandparents, and aunts and uncles and cousins, brothers and sisters, and to uh, foster parents and adoptive parents, and to caregivers, and to anybody else in the autism community versus the community in general. And I like to raise awareness just basically by giving tips to people who don't really know what autism is, but would like a better understanding how they can approach it. And finally, what I enjoy doing is um, covering topics that I'm passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism. And in this video blog, what I would like to do with you guys is share my own experiences on what it's like for me or what it was like for me to uh, live with autism as a child. So, as you guys know, you've heard the stories about how people with autism have panic attacks and they have temper tantrums and they kick people, hit people, bite people. I mean, they really raise the roof. And most media sources put it out there that um, all people with autism have a bad behavior. And as it turns out, a lot of those behaviors are really a way of saying, I'm hurting, I'm trying to tell you something, why are you forcing me to do this? Or they're telling the parents to go away, or they're telling the unpleasant situation to go away. So I also wanted to uh, emphasize on that. Now, most of the time you hear about nonverbal autistics uh, getting away with the panic attacks and the temper tantrums and the kicking and the screaming. And I'm going to tell you guys my side of the story. And I will say that that's not true because when I was in fourth grade, I was 10 years old and this was maybe a year before my, not a year, but a year and a half before my official autism diagnosis. And I ended up having the flu. And it was uh, December uh, 1991, and I remember I was feeling really nauseated and queasy, and my parents had tried to give me children's chewable Tylenol. Number one, I hated the way those things tasted. They often made me feel nauseated anyway. And number two, I really felt that if I even tried to chew on one of those, I would vomit. And... Instead of telling them I didn't like the taste, I'm scared those are going to make me sick, I ended up uh, crying really, really hard and crying at the top of my lungs and kicking. And they saw that as behavior. And see, in my mind, I was trying to tell them, hey, listen, this is not a good idea. You give me that, I'll end up throwing up. And they did it to me three times. And by the third time, I said, okay, fine, you guys win, but you're going to have to live with the consequences. So I took the children's Tylenol, and I swallowed it whole rather than chewing on it because that's what they suggested. And guess what happened? I threw up all over the, uh, my sister's bedroom. Actually, it wasn't my sister's bedroom. 
I threw up all over the bedroom that my sister and I had been sharing. So anyway, I am out of time. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to uh, comment and share this on Twitter and on YouTube and anybody in the autism community and anybody that does not know really what autism is. Until next time, I'm Maya.